I just got out from seeing Radio Silence's brand new movie, Abigail. One of my most anticipated movies and definitely my most anticipated horror movies of 2024. Went in loving the trailers, loved hearing all the buzz around it, and I'm a pretty big fan of the previous Radio Silence movies, Ready or Not in particular. With this one, I was really into the idea of this movie, and going into it, again, I love the trailers, and I really love the first three-fourths of this movie. Kevin Durant's the standout. I mean, the dude is hilarious. I was literally laughing my butt off throughout the entirety. He plays like the dumb guy with a lot of muscle, and he plays it very well. Dan Stevens, you hate him in this movie, and he plays that guy very well. Melissa Barrera, put her in everything horror-related. She's great. She's like that scream queen we're kind of looking for. She's fantastic, and a little girl who plays Abigail. She's unbelievable. I would say she's the best actress in this movie. I was like moved by this little girl being a vampire. A ballerina vampire. Catherine Newton's pretty solid. Definitely she's growing on me. Angus Cloud, RIP to the beautiful man because he was great in this movie. He just plays that like stoner role so well. But the three fourths of this movie, the first three quarters, I was locked in. I was laughing. I was having fun. I was having such a great time with the movies. Then that fourth quarter came around and this is what happened with Ready or Not and pretty much with the Scream movies that Radio Science has done, it feels like they don't know where to end, so they keep getting a little bit crazier and a little bit crazier with a couple more twists and turns in there. And the movie got to the point where I was like, this is kind of dumb. And that's when I walked out of the theater like, I was so in. I was so locked into this movie. I was so ready to be like, four and a half out of five. It's like one of my favorites of the year. To it falling to like a three and a half out of five because of how bizarre the movie gets. And there's a certain point with uh, Kevin Durant and Catherine Newton's character. Right when this point happens in the movie, it really kind of lost me. And I kind of got to the point where I started rolling my eyes. And it felt like we weren't ending. And it felt like there wasn't an end in sight. And it made it almost kind of drag by the end of it. And it kind of just got to the point where I was like, what is happening? Where are we going here? So it kind of got away from the overall point of the movie, in my opinion. Nonetheless, those first three quarters... I loved, I was radio silence that I do love, but the fourth quarter was a radio silence that I don't love. I'm one of the few people I feel who are kind of a little bit more mixed on this movie. I am definitely that three and a half range, might be even like a 3.25 range, but I'm definitely more mixed on this one because of how it ended and that ending really stuck with me, not in a good way. Those are my quick thoughts on Abigail. I'll have a Radio Silence movies ranking coming later this weekend. I'm looking forward to that. It's going to be fun. The more I think about Abigail, the more I might have fun with it. But nonetheless, go see this movie in theaters. It's definitely worth watching for the performances alone. It just gets a little bizarre by the end. Nonetheless, those are my quick out-of-theater thoughts on the movie. A lot of this movie I enjoyed. I just wish it stuck the landing a little bit better. Those are my thoughts. Let me know yours down below on Abigail. Hit the like button, subscribe, button, notification bell. I'll see you guys in the next one.